Again. Hi, this is Team uh, Smart Mirror. Welcome to our Irokumi 6. I'm Andy. I'm Joseph. And I'm Abi. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and cover the Sprint 2 review. Some challenges that we ran into was that our main source of data was the OBD2 sensor, and that took about like three weeks to ship. And that really held us back in terms of what sort of data we could get and what we could actually do with it. Um, and really outside of that, we were just focusing on building the website and uh, working on the camera module and getting that stuff to work. Um, but the main work is to be done now, now that we have something to take data with. Um, also, it's kind of difficult for us to find people to do interviews with because it would be geared towards parents of new teen drivers and um, none of us really know that many people who are in that particular space so um, yeah we got a little bit stuck with that also since we are using a hardware device we want to communicate via bluetooth and it's kind of annoying to bring your laptop with you everywhere if you want to get actual um, data done and uh, feedback on uh, driving course or whatever you might do. So uh, what we want to do is just with our initial iteration of our MVP is just get the data feedback, whatever with a website and uh, communicate via Bluetooth with a laptop. Um, we were able to get all the connections for the ESP32. So that was a win for us. Um, and the drivers for GPS and IMU, they include the digital motion processor. So it makes it really easy for us to just get all this stuff together. Um, and then with the OBD sensor, we have a OBD RF library and um, that just makes it really easy to take the data so we don't have to deal with CAN signals. So moving on to the customer interviews, as Joseph said earlier, our main target for these interviews are the parents of learning drivers, since they're the ones who we're gonna, who we're gonna expect to purchase the, the actual product. Um, so their primary concerns were how a driver's be scored, uh, is our product meant to replace driving instructors? Uh, what sort of tips or uh, guidances will that provide? And, and what, the, what actually is our driving instructor mode? So uh, the driver, drivers would be scored based, well, we don't know exactly yet, given that we, we, we just recently received our OBD2 sensor, so we couldn't actually test or, or gather data to, to use as like a model, so we can find out exactly like what drivers do given the, the numbers and whatnot. Um, but this product is not meant to replace driving instructors. It is meant to be to be like a uh, an actual tool for a, uh, the parents to to be able to to provide uh, the same assistance as a driving instructor effectively. And then now now onto our MVP functionality for the front end. So on the, the left image here, you you see uh, the, we have a driver score that is generated up there, and then we have a, a little login space on the bottom there. Uh, the middle image is for New users, new users that would have to sign up, and then this this third image is a sort of like main menu where you you can you can se select where to start. Um, and then onto our IoT functionality. So uh, these two pictures over here. This is our uh, ESP32 setup with the GPS, its antenna, and then the IMU. Um, and then this thing on the bottom is the OBD2 sensor, which finally came. So this top part is the, what actually plugs into the car. And then it has its own little microprocessor on it. And this is a PCB antenna. So then this communicates over Wi-Fi with this receiver module. And then the receiver module lets us communicate with the car basically using serial. So we can just connect this receiver module up to this little board that we have up here. And then we should be able to get all the data from the car. Um, and then on the right, we have a quick GIF of our uh, GPS and IMU drivers working. So it's getting up-to-date location data, and then it's also getting uh, pitch, yaw, and roll, and acceleration data from the IMU. 
And that's using the digital motion processor so that it's already pre-processed. So that limits the amount of like filtering and stuff like that that we have to do. And then all of this is running inside of platform IO. And so platform IO is like a C++. Uh, it's kind of similar to the Arduino IDE, but it's more, I guess, C++ focused and less like, instead of having .ino files, you can have conventional CPP and HPPs. So we just find it a little simpler to code in that. And then for our Sprint 3 plan, we have kind of five main goals. Uh, first, we're going to get the OBD2 driver working to collect the data that we need from the car. And we found this OBD2 RF library that kind of came with the sensor that we bought. And that allows us to basically uh, look up, there's like on Wikipedia, a giant list of PIDs. And if you send a specific PID over the serial to the device, it'll communicate with the car and get that data for you. So some of the example PIDs are like the accelerometer from the, from the car itself, like what the acceleration value is. And like, you can get gas information. You, you can get all sorts of things from there. So that's uh, one thing. Next is sample data. So we're going to take our prototype out on a drive with the computer and collect a couple hours of sample data so that we can use that for development of the algorithm. Uh, then we're going to continue to work on the front end, like actually spinning up the web server and REST API, and then finishing up our HTML, CSS website. Uh, we're going to work on the algorithm for determining the driving score from the sample data that we collected. And then finally, we're going to integrate the Google Maps API into the client so we can generate practice courses and display routes. So yeah, thank you for listening to our very good meeting.